Hello friends, today I am going to tell you how we can drag and copy the formula which has pivot data as in reference. So let's get started with that. I have opened my workbook which is named as trick2 and uh, the data is in raw data sheet. So here you can see there is a transaction date that's appearing. There is a gross wages that's appearing and there is a comment. In comment, I have the name of the employees. In gross wages, I have the gross wages next to their name. So I need to compare this data with the original data that has been provided to me. Okay, so for doing that, I need to make a pivot of this. I'm going to make a pivot of this and I go, I'm going to put it in my existing sheets, which is there in compare. So I'm going to put it here and then I need to pull out the names of the employees from the pivot and I need to pull out the gross wages. So here you can see I have the name of the employees name and their sum of gross wages. Now what I need to do is that I need to compare this data with this for which I'm going to use VLOOKUP function. So I'm going to apply VLOOKUP and I'm going to look this value. I'm going to look this value in this cell and I'm going to Put an exact match of that because I don't want an approximate match. So here you can see we have got all the data and uh, I think Ankit is not present in the other sheet that's why it's giving us an error. So I'm going to put, going to put a zero on it and just I'm going to cross check how, how much the total is coming. So you can see that this total is matching with this total. So now we can just start and do a comparison between them. How are we going to do the comparison between them? So for comparison, I need to apply a subtraction formula. I'm using this formula, I'm using this formula. This is correct. Now I move on to this, but this is not correct. Why? Because there's a get, get pivot function that's working here. So for doing this, what I need to do is that I can do like this and I will get my result but the problem here is that I cannot do it for every line item. I need something which I can copy and drag down. So how am I going to do that? For this we need to go on file and we need to go on options. In options we need to go on formula and we use we have to untick this get pivot data function for pivot table references here. So once I untick it I'm going to click OK now I'm going to delete whatever I've done in earlier for subtraction. I'm going to use this F6 minus G6. It gives me the same result again. Now I'm going to copy and paste it or I can double click here and you can see that now this function is working perfectly fine. So now you have unticked that option option from here formulas and get pivot data functions. Now you can copy and drag any formula which has pivot data as its reference. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video and you have learned a little bit about Excel and if you like the video please hit the thumbs up button and do subscribe to my channel.